So we could probably get from that horrible three rep warm up, 133, these are the 44 pound plates, is don't forget to put clips when you squat. I'll never forget when I used to go to commercial gyms, I used to do that all the time. I can't believe I did that. I would deadlift and squat without clips. Deadlift is a little different. I would put them sometimes because they bang. Um, so today's the review. I'm gonna actually do my squat workout to kill, kill two birds with one stone or kill two stones with one bird, whatever. People say both. Um, this is a squat rack that I'm gonna review. It's a two piece. It's just like my wooden one, but it's adjustable. So the thing about this that I'm learning, like the twice I've used it already, two times, is that you really gotta make sure they're even. Don't like ever do this with them. Make sure they're both flat and straight. You might need a ruler. You don't need that. You'll get the feel for it after a while. Um, so let's get into the review. Damn, I'm so sorry. I didn't even think I hit depth on that one, but I looked at the video and I did. So here's the rack. It's two pieces. Don't have a cameraman, so I'm gonna have to take my time with this review. But the only con that I really see is right here. You know, like the, the rack holders. It's kind of higher. So if you're used to having a certain height, you might want to put it lower because it's gonna the bar hits here. It's perfect on the squat. I chose the right height perfectly. Now I know it's on seven or eight, whatever I put on the eighth one, seven holes. And bench, I, I pretty much predicted it right. I'm gonna try see how pin presses work on the bottom ones, the spotter arms. So that's gonna be when I bench work out. So it's gonna be a squat and bench review. The only con that everyone says. These go for like 105 or more online on Amazon. I was getting ready to buy one, but then I got one cheaper on Offer. The only con is that it shakes like this. It's the only real con, but if you're doing this when you're squatting or benching, like you don't even, why are you lifting weights like, like that? You shouldn't be lifting weights the wrong way. Going sideways, you just go front and back. Don't rack it too aggressively. As you can say, I used to have a wooden squat rack. That one moved a lot, shake back and forth. This one doesn't shake much at all. All you have to do is just put extra plates on the bottom and it won't even tip back and forth like this. But it shouldn't and it's more on bench. But I'm really soft, you know, I'm really gentle when I put it, re-rack and rack. So, so far that's the only real con, it works perfect. It says it holds up to 550 pounds. I'm not squatting anywhere near that anytime soon. If I do, I'll test 500 on it, but I still go to the gym. The only con about this squat session is I don't have a Texas squat bar, I don't have comp plates. But I mean, who cares, just the second day. My first day is when I use the, the squat bar and the comp plates. So it's gonna be three, 352 again, like earlier this week. I'm just gonna do three by five. I did a four by four, and now I'm doing a three by five. So it's gonna be just one, one more rep, uh, and then do high bar. Um, I'm not gonna show the high bar though. And then the bench. It's more about the review of the rack. The pro of this is that it's you know portable. You can move it, not like a half rack or a, like a half rack or a power rack. Uh, power cage where you have to just stay in one spot. This garage is a three car garage. It's my parents obviously. I still live with them. So it's a mess in here. So that's one pro about this. I can always move it. They weigh like 20 pounds combined. So 10 and 10. Like they're really light. Like 15, 15, 30 pounds. So they're not heavy. You can move them. It's perfect. You know, if someone compared to like a fixed rack, someone likes wide grip on squats, you bring them in. Someone likes me, like likes it close, you bring them out. So that's a pretty much pro about it. I just have to see about the spotter arms. If the spotter arms are there, that's cool. Like if they're strong for pin presses, which is what I'm going to do, then I love that. And I'm not too strong on bench anyway, so they should work. And I can do inverted rows on these. I already tried it. Um, my, my wooden one, it would shake too much and it would fall. Obviously, it wasn't that stable. So, so far, I like it. I mean, I still go to the gym. It's no big deal. about 35s is I don't remember the last time I touched a 35 since I had this 35 it was given to me by my friend's stepdad the gym I go to powerlifting gyms usually don't have 35s the gym I go to doesn't have it and last time I went to commercial gym was like ooh, 2019 May it was for sure May because that's when I joined the gym I have 35 it's like almost the same size as the 45 that's what I love it could be used as another 45 if you have the extra 10 it just doesn't look as cool but I like it I mean that's kind of like my other 45 as, uh, I have the pair of 35s and 33s. It's raining outside. That's the big pro for me to a home gym. I don't have to like deal with traffic in the rain and just deal with the rain because the rain just gets people depressed. Like for some reason, people are always shocked when it rains. Like we know it's gonna rain. It's like oh my god, it's raining. It's so sh it's funny. Okay, so going with 303, not quite three. F well, 313 because I have 144 on here. Not quite three plates. We go 303 and then I'll go to a higher one. 
I'm, be, I'm so sore because I did sumo yesterday. Not, I mean, I did squat two days ago and then sumo yesterday. I didn't realize how much uh, sumo works quads because I haven't done sumo since I left to Peru. I didn't do sumo in Peru. I did it uh, like December like 17th around there. So, you know, sumo yesterday and squats the day before. I'm sore. Hitting depth is hard. It feels like I'm not hitting it, but I know I am. So, I'll be doing 352 for a 3x5. It should be easy. Oh. Oh. You may be thinking if you have a home gym, this rack sucks. Get a half rack, get a power cage, whatever. Or just get something better. If you're going to have a home gym, why not? But honestly, there's just like a home gym on a budget for someone like me who has barbells, plates, and dumbbell and a bench. I don't have an adjustable bench, just a flat bench. But honestly, for a power lifter, that's all you need. And that's all I need. And like, if gym shut down, I'd be pretty fine on my own compared to people who don't have it. But like, honestly, if you just like, just want to get something, like some kind of wrap, it's perfect. It's worth it. I don't see a problem with it. Like, I'm like shaking. It's not even moving. I had to actually try to move it. Like I said, just be gentle. Nothing will happen. It's not going to break. If it breaks, oh well. <laughs> there's other there's things that break. Like there's nothing we could really do about that. But I'm sure it won't break. I've had it. Like it's just sitting on it. I'm going to put 352. I plan on going pretty heavy on it. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it about that. I mean, if you want something better, go ahead. But like if you just want some like quick home gym on a budget and you just don't want to go to the gym, don't want to get, get sick because of, you know, pandemic it's perfect like you know you just feel like being home i think it's perfect for to have forever i mean it may wear down if you just don't take care of it and you abuse it but some people just don't have the money some people don't want a nice home gym i do eventually want a nice home gym i may even keep it even if i get you know i want to like invest ten thousand dollars into a home gym and never go to the gym again and have everything i need here i've mentioned it before but for right now it'll do and even if i have a nice power rack I'll probably still keep it to do something like a superset, something, accessory, shrugs, doesn't really matter what, you know what I mean? So, back to the workout. <sighs> oh. Okay, so like I never really believe people saying that pound plates are harder to squat with than comp plates because I always thought comp plates were harder but I see it now but I am using the Texas squat bar power bar. I'm using the Texas power bar and that I know is harder to squat with because no one likes the bar to squat with people prefer the Ohio power bar and I'm used to the Texas squat bar so this is hard to squat with as it is oh man you heard me say I'm gonna squat 352 for a five three by five but man that 328.5 was really heavy so I don't know about that <laughs> and I'm sore so you know, I might have to go just go by RPE. I would love to do what I said I was going to do, but that was probably going to be a mission anyway. But 352 did feel easier um, with the Texas squat bar and the uh, comp plates. So that was my last video. You could easily see it. And, like, this is, if I do it, it will be hard. Um, I'm probably going to just, probably just go lighter. 3 by 5 still, but go lighter, sadly. And, uh, yeah, it breaks my heart. The Texas, po uh, Texas power bar is just not the best to squat with. So that's why when people say Texas... The Ohio power bar is way harder than the Texas power bar just because of the tensile strength. Like, that's not necessarily true. Like, you have to use the Texas power bar, deadlift with it, bench with it, squat with it, and Ohio power bar to truly know which one's harder. You can't just go by the tensile strength because, like, this, this bar is no joke. <laughs> I actually don't like it to squat with, but, you know, didn't feel like going to the gym. Like, I did, but I'm going to be going there later, and I didn't want to go so late. I have things to do. So I made up my mind that I'm not doing 352 for a 3x5. Um, if I had the squat bar and the comp plates, probably, uh, that's pretty heavy anyway because I just did it. So I was planning 341 because in Peru I had done 330 for a 5x4. I did 318, 308 for a 5, 4x5, and then I did 330 for a 5x4 because it was so easy. But that wasn't the Texas power bar. So the magic number, I wanted to do, do 341. I'm going to do 338.5 because these are 2.75. This is kind of crazy, but see how it goes. Shh. 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 Shh.
338.5 wasn't so bad. It's about perfect RPE. I would say 8. Not that I could have done two more if I had a gun to my head. But the difficulty felt like about an 8, not a 9. Mm. Okay, so that was a 3x5, 338.5 pounds. For like being really sore, it wasn't so bad. And the Texas Power Bar, I learned two things. The Texas Power Bar is a lot like working out when you're sore. So delayed onset muscle soreness. For me, it only kicks in during the warm-ups when you're first starting because your legs are like, I just use legs as an example because I'm doing legs. I did two my quads were sore yesterday and my hamstrings, but today I really felt it on my hamstrings. And on the way down, I really feel it on my hamstrings when I'm sore for squats because it's eccentric. You're working a lot of hamstrings on the way up. Quads, I mean squats is mainly quads, but it works. You're pretty much your entire leg. So I felt it on my hamstrings on the way down and kind of on the way up. But once the weight's heavy enough and you're on your working sets, your working sets, like all that mental like mindset, like that it's too heavy, it hurts, you're sore, like that goes out the window. Same with the Texas Power Bar. It doesn't feel heavy once you're on your working sets. Just like when you're sore, you're on your working sets, it doesn't feel, it's really all in your mind. Once you have a set number, set, <laughs> a set sets and reps, you're gonna get it, whether you feel it or not. I usually never feel it once I'm doing the percentage and the prescribed sets and reps that I need to do. So now I'm gonna do high bar, just 225, 223, because there's a 44 on there, so I haven't done these in a while. So like front squats and like high bar, like last video I did 165 3x5 front squats. It's not that it's heavy, but like it's, I, I don't do it often. Like I'm doing front squats and high bar, but I haven't emphasized those in a long time. Before when I only did high bar and not low bar, because I used to think low bar was cheating before I power lifted, I would always do 275 for 5x5. That was just my working set. So I know I can do that, but right now I'm just going to keep it easy and do 275 for working sets. High, high bar squats and front front squats are the best accessories for, for a heavy uh, low bar. So that's what I'm going to do. Just two things. Low bar and then high bar and then I'm going to do the bench pin press. That was my third set of five on high bar squats, 223. I don't do beltless squats anymore, like low bar, I always use comp style. So I always use my knee sleeves and my belt, my wrist wraps. But high bar front squats, since I'm not doing beltless on the comp low bar, I do beltless all the time on front bar, uh, front squats and high bar. Uh, just a way of straightening my core and bracing. It was pretty easy, but I just wanted to go easy. I could have done probably 275 for a three by five, but I needed it to be easy to work my way up by the time meet day comes. And just in general, like from now on, I'm gonna start doing front squats and high bar. So I really need to strengthen it, build a foundation first, instead of ego lifting. Cause I'm already kind of doing that. And I'm not, I'm not an ego lifter. It just, I know what I'm capable of and I'm kind of rushing it. But I'm gonna start calming down these next few weeks. Doesn't mean I won't be setting PRs, but I'm gonna calm down. So now for the pin press. This is like the true review of the bar, of the, the rack. May have to put some plates on the back so it doesn't tip forward, but we'll see how the, the pin, the spotter arms work. I know that was only 133, but so far so good. It hasn't really been moving. I like the sign so far. Probably gonna work up to, I don't know, 
I don't know, probably like 200, I'm not sure. Because the Larson Press, I know I've never done that before in my last video. Oh no, I didn't record it. If I did Larson Press the other day, I didn't record. It was super hard. I only did 183 for 4x5. But this is, I've done it before and I can use my legs. So I'm thinking like 200 or 205. We'll see though, I really don't know. Well, that was embarrassing. I don't know if you noticed my left side didn't quite land on the spotter arm, but I noticed it. So it's kind of hard. You got to kind of look. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up to the back back of the rack. So there's no way that'll happen again because the spotter arms aren't very long. They're like eh, like six inches probably. So I'm going to set up like closest to the back so it won't tip over and that won't happen. Just be careful. You have to look. It's hard to look, you know, left and right when you're doing pin presses. So I would say set up to the back if you're going to do pin presses. And just be as careful as possible. That was 183. It's actually kind of heavy. I think I'm going to go a little heavier. We'll probably go 198. Instead of 200, it's almost 200. Okay, so I think that way works cool. One thing I noticed is I don't need to, I don't, it's not comfortable to go all the way back because then I'm pushing like this and I like to bench up and back. So, you know, if you bench straight up, you know, everyone's built different, everyone has different leverages, some people that's comfortable for them, but I like the natural pattern of going up and back like I'm re racking the bench. So I scoot it up a little more. You know, some people like it. Louis Simmons says, bench straight up, more power. You don't waste energy going up and back, but that's just the way I do it. Those are my biomechanics and I like it. I have long arms, I feel like I need to do it. And I just like it. So, not all the way back, but as close back as possible so it doesn't tip over. And just really watch when you put it down. First set, 198, but 198 for five is cool. Probably do a four by five. And that's all benching I'm doing today. I'm not gonna actually bench bench, like besides pin press. I'm gonna do some, uh, what is it? I'm gonna do some uh, inverted rows. I don't know why I got the brain part. So inverted rows, probably some actual rows, uh, probably some, uh, um, I mean, I might go to the gym later and do pull-ups and actual back stuff, but on uh, seal rows and that's it. So that wraps it up for the video reviewed the rack you can see from the squat even with pin presses it works perfect the sparta arms do their job it shakes a tiny bit but it doesn't move out of place so this like each spot each squat like there's a two piece both pieces didn't come out of place which is perfect i don't have to keep moving it like honestly the reason i re replaced my wooden one is because i couldn't adjust it this bench is 17 inches and comp benches are 17 and a half. So when I built this, I had an 18 and a half bench. It wasn't a good one, it was an adjustable one. So now this is too high. So that's why I bought this one because I can adjust it. It's perfect, like height-wise for squat, bench, high bar, low bar, pin presses. For sure I can't do rag pulls, but I don't do rag pulls. It's better to do block pulls. So even if I needed that, I'd probably just make them out of wood. You see it, it's 
perfect. Like you've seen it, what it can do. It's perfect on a budget. Um, I'll replace it, but may get rid of it, may not. Like I said, it's always good to superset just in case someone comes to my house. Two people could swap. Like I'm throwing this away, but the wooden one's going in the trash. But um, if someone needs to like squat on this one. If I get a power rack, two people could squat. One inside, one outside. One here. You know, I'm gonna get more bars. I have a power bar. I only have one bar to squat with because the deadlift bar is just a deadlift bar, but I want a squat bar, kabuki power bar, Ohio power bar. So for right now, very beginner gym, just dumbbell, barbells, it does the job. I'm pleased. For me, it's a 5 out of 5 because it's all I need. I don't need anything like crazy. Don't forget to like the video, uh, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for my uh, plates review and how much they weigh. <laughs>